<coughs> Thanks very much to Steve for inviting me. I'm very honoured to be here with my European contemporaries. From London, two great artists from Finland died recently. I'm doing two texts in memory of them. The first is Erki Karanimi. He was a genius in maths. He wrote his own uh, theory of harmony in music. He wanted to upload himself in the 80s. He wanted to upload his entire spirit, which meant all of his images, his words, his semen, his pubic hair, his art, everything. He invented synthesizers too, one was called the Dimmy. In 1993, Apple released the Newton message pad. The user wrote with a plastic pen-like stylus onto the large screen. Erky was an early adopter. These are some of my chosen phrases from what is in the archive in Finland. My theory is that she had found my Newton diary and educated herself on private. Knows I am under control. I notice a new light path, reflection and refraction, Newton screen and eyeglasses. The door went down there. Newton diaries to Anne to read. I have not intruded their party in any way. Newton seems to replace smoking. I can imagine a backlit colour. Maybe a short walk after they leave. Both have pissed now. And the blonde. She accepted the fact of life. Now I remember a dream of last night. My Newton was terribly broken. Glass parts. Newton clock. Must have stopped from Friday night to Saturday afternoon. A problem in memory organisation. I must essentially improve my Newton pro post processing system. Spent some time researching spare Newton pen. Two bottles last night with Kat, who? Sinked Newton personal. Correspondence. Assi and Tonsa went. The funny looking on. Wanted. Have my masturbation. I have to have a folder for raw Newton stuff listings. Such. Absolutely scared. Semantics takes place. Will she, either of them, share my love of pornography? Or, at least, art? I shall present myself to both of them as a geniality self-flagellation machine. Just one bottle tonight, okay? I shall invite them on to my journey of change, showing the way ahead, immortality. I will let them sniff and sneak through my archive. Literally a couple of weeks before Mika Vanio died, uh, he was the junior. Mika Vanio is famous for, first of all, Panasonic and what became Pansonic. He's famous for his solo works, his collaborations. He's the reason I started something called Blood Music. This is called Elegy Guts. For those uh, who know me, I do this little photography thing called Guts. Uh, guts is now number 59. The first Guts was me taking a photo of some electrical wires coming out of a box. Elegy Guts, in memory of Mika Vanio, who wrote his name in waves of sound. Not really sure about all this grief. It comes in waves. That's the go-to analogy. As if waves were of any use, were of any use to me. What am I going to do with a bunch of waves? Problem two is the thought process that comes to me like a frillion open doored telephone communication, cabinets forgotten by electricians, and all the colourful guts, all the numbers 
of unknowable, ununderstandable data spills out into the air something about that potential energy, that embarrassing openness and heavier still when the electricity is gone from the streets. All right? <laughs> <laughs>